Hello, and welcome to the first of many inspirational updates that I will be posting. I am Dr. Christina Samesha, holistic and spiritual psychologist, and the author of The Journey of Discovering Inner Peace. I believe that we are currently experiencing a massive shift in consciousness. My updates will serve to provide you with a deeper understanding of the spiritual and metaphysical interpretation as to what we are experiencing to help you better navigate this challenging time. Although this is my first update in podcast form, you can find several articles posted on my website dating back to 2020, where I provide explanations and guidance as to what I believe has been transpiring thus far. This information can be found at my website, christinasyd.com, that's Christina with a C-H, P-S-Y-D, Dot com. The shift in consciousness that I am referring to has been called the dawning of the age of Aquarius, 5D or 5th dimensional as- ascension, just to name a few. Whether you resonate with these terms or not, it is highly likely that you could see and feel that something is definitely transitioning in the world. Because the spiritual world talks to us in symbols, it utilizes several languages, two of which are astrology and numerology, which I will be referencing in my podcast. Although 2020 was a pivotal year within this shift, it began on the winter solstice of 2012. At that time, we began transitioning out of the age of Pisces, or third dimensional consciousness, into the age of Aquarius, or fifth dimensional consciousness. During the age of Pisces, which lasted for approximately 2,500 years, we created hierarchical systems to provide structure and guidance for our lives. This resulted in the creation of most religions, political ideologies, and the world as we know it. This period was dominated by hierarchy and power because we believed that we needed something or someone to believe in. We are now seeing the significant flaws in the system. As we shift into the age of Aquarius, the energy is propelling us to seek freedom, personal responsibility, and doing what is best for humanity. To understand this in terms of dimensional frequencies, Third dimensional consciousness is comprised of lower density vibrational frequency. When operating in the third dimension, we tend to view ourselves as material beings, separate from others, and operating from a concept of competition, scarcity, and victim consciousness. Living in third dimensional consciousness is essentially operating out of ego and fear. As we move into fourth dimensional frequency, we begin to awaken to the understanding that we are all connected, and that there's more to life than the material, and that our thoughts and feelings impact our reality. As we ascend into fifth dimensional consciousness, we begin fully operating from a place of love, compassion, and authenticity. Something to keep in mind is that these dimensions aren't places per se, but frames of mind. Many of us move between these states of consciousness. However, due to old programming and trauma, we revert back to lower levels. The 3D matrix is transforming, which means each of us is being energetically pulled to change with it. In addition to personal transformation, this will likely result in the inevitable collapse of many of our systems, which is why things feel so incredibly precarious. As I mentioned previously, 2020 was a pivotal year within this shift. From a numerological perspective, it was the year number four, which symbolizes structure and foundation and is a master number year, which highlighted its spiritual significance. 2020 is also symbolic of perfect vision, or seeing things clearly. Taken together, 2020 served to illuminate the foundation of the matrix precisely because it's transforming. In order to build a better foundation, we really need to examine the flaws within our current system. We began 2020 with a rare planetary alignment, which set the tone for the year. Pluto aligned with Saturn and Capricorn for the first time in 500 years, which indicated that we will be headed toward a major paradigm shift. Saturn represents our obstacles and challenges. Pluto is a planet of fears and transformation. Capricorn represents hierarchy and responsibility. This was just the beginning of the rare and intense astrological patterns that occurred during 2020. Shortly after Pluto and Saturn align, the coronavirus made its appearance. The universe then put us into a quarantine right at the same time we entered 
into a highly charged retrograde storm that lasted for most of the year. A retrograde storm occurs when several planets are in retrograde at the same time, which does not happen frequently. It creates an energetic environment as we are all asked to examine things that have been hidden in the subconscious. Pluto also kept making an appearance all year, which explains why fear was amplified for most of the year. The universal force behind 2020 quarantined us in order for us to examine some painful realities we were either denying or minimizing, not only in our lives, but globally. These intense astrological patterns propelled most of us to experience the dark night of the soul, which involved our deepest fears and wounds to be brought to the surface in order to be examined, processed, and healed. It was allowing us to access trauma and belief systems that were no longer serving us because we were all called to rebuild our lives as well as the planet. Because the main themes of Age of Aquarius are spirituality, free spiritness, and self-reliance, one of the spiritual agendas behind 2020 was to illuminate our fears in order to transcend them and let go of victim consciousness. This is important because in spiritual terms, fear is the opposite of love. I believe most of us would love to transform and rebuild the world on a foundation of love, which begins by confronting and letting go of our own fears. In 2020, we were all asked to look at our fears directly in the eye and work through them. This forced us to dig deeper than ever, which prompted many of us to re-examine our careers, relationships, and other lifestyle choices. From a collective perspective, we also examined with greater scrutiny our systems, such as government and corporations. We are seeing that the systems we have created are becoming increasingly more corrupt and no longer serving us, which is why more than ever we are questioning these systems and exposing the truths behind them. As we shift into the age of Aquarius, we may no longer be looking for government or big corporations for guidance and support, but shifting to more community-based living. In 2020, the matrix was illuminated. The spiritual agenda for 2021 was to begin rebuilding it. Numerologically, 2021 was the year number five, which symbolized freedom and creativity. 2021 also experienced several rare planetary alignments. Three Saturn Uranus squares in December, in Febu sorry, February, June, and December. To have one of these alignments is rare, but three in one year is definitely significant. Saturn is our challenge. Uranus is the planet that rules Aquarius, which symbolizes freedom, innovation, and change. This pattern was asking us to resolve the con conflict between our need for freedom and security. During 2021, many of us contemplated major life changes and questioned our life path. We entered another retrograde storm toward the end of September. Although it only lasted a few weeks, the energy was very intense. Again, we were confronted with more of our fears, old programming, and karma that needed to be addressed and cleared. Another aspect to keep in mind is that ever since 2020, time has felt strange because we were, and still are, working through third, fourth, and fifth dimensional energies. Additionally, we are also being energetically upgraded and infused with significant life energy and solar flares, which can be emotionally and physically exhausted. This light energy is here to help us slowly upgrade to this higher frequency, as well as clear out old energy that is no longer serving us. Now we are fully in the 2022 energy, year number six, which symbolizes the year of peace, healing, and finding ease and balance. I think one of the major lessons for this year is to stay in high vibration and balance during chaos, which is likely continue to continue as we continue transitioning. It is also about making peace with whatever has transpired in the last two years. One of the ways we can do this is to understand that the universe never gives us anything we cannot handle, and that everything we are experiencing is for our greater good and spiritual growth. If we are rooted in the material constructs and the old ways of doing things, this shift will likely be painful. However, if we are spiritually aligned, there is nothing to fear. In 2020, we have been working with Gemini and Sagittarius energy as the eclipses and nodes were in these signs. 
When the nodes changed into Sagittarius and Gemini in May of 2020, a large focus in the world was around communicating, which is Gemini energy, and discussing political viewpoints, which is Sagittarius energy. In January of 2022, the nodes switched into Taurus and Scorpio energy. The energy definitely ramped up as things were getting even more serious. Life. Taurus energy, and death, Scorpio series. Taurus is now in the north node, which represents what we need to be focusing on. Taurus symbolizes what we value and what truly matters, as well as our material world, such as finances and home. Scorpio energy represents death and transformation. A very important planetary alignment occurred on February 22, 2022. The United States had its Pluto return, which may result in a drastic change not only for our country, but the whole world. It was right around that time that the war started between Russia and Ukraine, which is definitely impacting the whole world. The energy was very intense in April, which is definitely proving to be one of the most significant months of the year. April was not only infused with significant light energy, but a very important conjuncture of Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces took place mid-month. This alignment has been referred to as the Pisces portal, which would be a grand clearing of the age of Pisces energy. This once-in-a-lifetime conjunction, similar in significance to the alignment we experienced on the winter solstice of 2020, will be a grand completion of energies that we are ready to leave behind as we move into this new age. We have been clearing many lifetimes of trauma and old programming from the age of Pisces, which is approximately 2,500 years worth. This deep emotional housekeeping has definitely been difficult and exhausting. And in order to purge trauma that's stored in cellular memory, we must feel it. All of it. And it appears that some of us are working through lifetimes of it through the last few years. Additionally, throughout the year, Jupiter, the planet of expansion, is moving through Pisces, the planet of spirituality, which indicates not only healing, but a spiritual awakening. There appears to be some powerful alignments this year with Jupiter, the planet of faith, trust, and beliefs, that will be assisting us in moving forward with this mission. We ended April with Pluto, Pluto going into retrograde, as well as the start of eclipse season, with a new moon in Taurus partial solar eclipse. Now that we are in May, we are continuing to experience the intense energy of eclipse season as we have a powerful full moon lunar eclipse approaching soon. A lunar eclipse is a supercharged full moon and can bring about faded endings, breakdowns, and breakthroughs. Therefore, it's highly likely that we will soon be experiencing another huge, possibly catastrophic event within the collective. Many of us are likely feeling this intense energy which may be triggering some fear and anxiety. Although we are feeling unsettled in the midst of this chaos, I believe that it is important to focus on aligning ourselves with this new age and setting our intention for the world that we wish to create. Although it feels, it feels as though the world is on fire, we all need to bravely walk through the flames, observe, experience, but not attach to the drama. If we understand that we are headed to a much better place, this will hopefully alleviate our anxiety. We also recently transitioned from Pisces energy, as we had a Pisces stellenium in April, into Aries energy. This is a very different type of energy, which is prompting many of us to start feeling like we need to take action. I believe that the most important thing we can do is to continue standing in our power, holding the light, and aligning with 5D consciousness. According to the law of attraction, we create reality with our thoughts, behaviors, and intentions, consciously and subconsciously. Therefore, our beliefs, actions, intentions, and what we choose to focus on hold immense power. Because we create our reality through our thoughts and intentions, the first step in creating this 5D world is to believe that it's possible. If we all collectively focused our thoughts and intentions on the world based on love and light, we can definitely manifest it. In individually, we may not necessarily feel powerful. However, we have the opportunity to create a new earth if we all think together. 
because I truly believe there are more of us on the side of light and love. The 3D matrix will lightly continue to grow in intensity until more and more people wake up. One of the reasons all of this is transpiring is to fully expo expose our shadow so that we can transmute it into light. We need not be, to be afraid. Because I'm feeling another wave of something headed our way, now is the time that we all need to fully continue living in our authenticity and sovereignty. We are definitely going through one of the most interesting, challenging, and exciting times in history. I believe that the light has won and the spiritual world is watching over us. I hope that you are taking very good care of yourself during this challenging time and understand that you are definitely not alone in this journey. Let us all keep our vibrations as high as we can and our thoughts and intentions focused on the world we wish to create. One of light and love. Stay tuned for my next inspirational update. Sending you all love and healing.